What's up guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today for you we're going to do a little redstone. We're going to be working with block update detectors. And today we're going to use a piece of redstone ore as a button. Oh, something, something different. I haven't seen too many people use this. It's a pretty neat little mechanic. And right now we're kind of just looking at the world. It's been a minute since I've been on. We've been having some crashing issues since the last update at the end of January. And, uh, I haven't been on here in a minute. Anyway, let's get back to the redstone. So the light's off. Touch this redstone ore. The light comes on. Eventually this will burn out, if you will, and it'll turn that light off. So when you're down in the mines, if you've ever stepped on a piece of redstone ore or touched it, you see it light up and do this particle effect. That's a block update. And then eventually it'll go off and that causes another update. So let's build us a block update detector. Start with a block here, sticky piston on top, piece of redstone dust, block in front of that. Oh, we need a torch. Redstone torch on the side of the block, and then we need to put a normal piston on top of that redstone torch. Right. Come on now. Here. Nope. Try again. Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's get these. Then we need to take a block of redstone and place it here. Now you have a block update detector. You can update it here. On the other side. Oops, excuse me. <clears throat> on the other, on the top of it. And then on the back. So instead of breaking blocks and placing blocks, we're going to use a redstone ore as our button. It'll send an update there, and then when the particle effects and the light quits, it'll send another pulse. So you can essentially use it as a switch to walk in and out of a door, or whatever your contraption may be. And we're just going to simulate this pulse using a redstone lamp so you can see it. So instead of waiting for that thing to update once more we'll just replace it and show you what happens so if you touch it as you see the light pulse is on and then oh on the retraction there we go so it'll pulse twice for you rather than breaking the blocks and replacing them and then you can do what I did down here and hook it up into a T flip flop and basically all that is is a dropper facing into a hopper Hopper facing into a dropper, that dropper facing into that one, that dropper facing up into this one. And what you do is you place you an item inside this dropper here and power it directly, and that'll give you a signal, a comparator signal you can take out there and wire that up to whatever you want to. Essentially turning this redstone ore into a lever. Another thing you can do if you put it on the floor, I suggest you putting the redstone ore on a wall. So you can place you a piece of dirt here, get you out of a hoe, and till the soil. And that creates a block update as well. You can stamp it back down, and that causes another block update. And that one's a little bit better for floor use, I think. The redstone ore would probably be better in a wall this way people aren't just walking over it and opening up your secret entrance to your base or whatever so there you guys have it a neat little button using redstone ore please leave a like if you liked the video and as always thanks for watching mm -hmm. 